Good evening, committee chair and committee members. My name is Jan Hauser. I am the wastewater division manager. I am uh, here today to present uh, your consideration of a first amendment to our Salinas uh, agreement for the supply and delivery of polymer. So the recommendation is that the Public Works and Transportation Committee recommend that the City Council approve and authorize the mayor to execute a First Amendment to Agreement 8172-17-PW with Salinas LLC in the amount of $450,000 for a new not to exceed amount of $1,462,000 and to extend the term to June 30th, 2023 for supply and delivery of cationic polymer to the Oxnard wastewater treatment plant. So a little background, polymers are long chain organic molecules uh, used to help or enhance the uh, treatment process, the wastewater treatment process. So when applied to digested wastewater solids, Polymer molecules allow for more water to be removed from the, uh, from the solids. Okay, on September 26, 2017, 2017 uh, solicitation PW18-19 was released for the supply and delivery of cationic polymer. The bidding process included primary bench scale testing and full scale testing. We had three vendors participate in the final full-scale test, and the Salinas polymer was the only formula that met the city's minimum requirements. Then on March 6, 2018, the city council approved the agreement with Salinas LLC for the supply and delivery of cationic polymer. So as part of the wastewater treatment process, solids are separated from water. The separated solids are thickened, digested, and dewatered prior to disposal. The polymer is added during the dewatering process to the solids treatment process uh, to improve uh, or enhance the removal of water from the solids. The Oxnard wastewater treatment plant produces approximately 80 wet tons of biosolids per day. And they are hauled off by a third party contractor. That's about four trucks per day. Here's a couple of photos. On the left are the digesters. So this is where the digested sludge is then uh, pumped over to our solids processing building, which is shown on the right for dewatering. The tank you see uh, highlighted uh, in yellow is where we store our bulk polymer. So the photo on the left is the uh, belt filter press, uh, a one of four belt filter presses uh, that were uh, newly installed last year and they are working quite well. Uh, and on the right is one of the trailers that are filled with solids every day. And again, we have four of those trailers go out of the plant every day. So the cost for this two-year amendment with Salinas is $450,000 through June 30th, 2023. There are available budgeted funds uh, for, for this fiscal year, 2021, uh, in the wastewater fund, and the remaining balances will be requested in subsequent fiscal budgets based on the table below. That concludes my presentation. I'd be happy to answer any questions. Thank you very much. Have a nice evening.